Yeah. That's right. I need a little more coffee. Let's go outside right now. This is the <laughs> Simply Bits cam in the Midtown area. Looking off toward the south, a lot of cloud cover out there so far today, but the clearing line for these clouds, at least the clouds starting to break up, that is about to move through Metro Tucson over the next couple of hours. Eventually, later in the day, a little more sunshine breaking out. Upper 70s at the airport. For the most part, winds have been calm. We do expect that to change over the next hour or two, not only for Metro Tucson, but for all of southeastern Arizona. 80 and Marana, 81 Ryan Field, about 20 degrees cooler atop Mount Lemon. We're on the final days, by the way, for those peak fall colors on Mount Lemon. More pictures coming up bottom half of the hour. 82 in the capital city of Phoenix, low 60s up in Pine Top Sholo. Here in Tucson, sustained winds around 10 miles per hour, but we are gusting near 20 miles per hour in Marana and over 20 miles per hour in Sasabe. And through the day here, we'll see those winds gusting as high as 20, even 25 miles per hour prevailing out of the southwest. Won't be until this evening, once we get beyond sunset, those winds dial down to the 5 to 10 mile per hour range. All part of a cold front sweeping across the state. This front will be east of us heading into the overnight hours. Behind this front, cooler air filtering in from the northwest, setting the stage for daytime highs running below average for the final day of the month. Looks like mid 70s Halloween afternoon and then mid 60s in time for trick or treaters tomorrow night. By 6 o'clock in the evening, we'll call it seasonably scary. And then we'll see those temperatures tumbling into the upper 50s as little ghosts and goblins return home. A hauntingly still night. Overall, though, no weather issues whatsoever across southern Arizona heading toward Halloween. Partly cloudy skies on tap this afternoon, low to mid 80s for daytime highs. Temperatures today running about 3 to 5 degrees above average for this time of year. But again, the main weather story will be the breezes out of the southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Mid to upper 70s, Santa Cruz, Cochise counties this afternoon. Clear skies overnight that allows us to bottom out in the 40s and 50s, pretty close to where we should be for late October standards. 74 tomorrow, followed up with the mid 40s waking up Thursday morning, upper 40s on Friday morning, and then we bounce back to the 80s in time for your U of A afternoon tailgate on Friday. We've had a few emails. Yes, those logos are correct. Bear Down Friday <laughs> is on a Thursday because the Cats play Colorado on Friday night. And speaking of, kickoff temperature should be around 70 degrees as the Cats take on the Buffaloes. It'll be a good game, but definitely a great weather for Halloween. Yeah, no rain in the forecast for the foreseeable future. It looks like high pressure going to run the show heading into the upcoming weekend here. 